Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm about to show you simple technologies that will make a difference. I am Obiora Eze. I want to show you simple technology that have been used for years to preserve food. Uh, preservation is very important for food security. By preserving our foods, especially foods, we can have enough and wastage would not be a problem. So this technology has been used for years. One of my best characters in the Bible, Joseph, preserved food for seven good years. Wonderful. And I believe he included the technology that I'm about to show you. And that technology is drying, or we call it dehydration. Dehydration is a very simple technology. The principle is removal of moisture from the material so that the activity of enzymes or bacteria that causes uh, spoilage would be inhibited. Their activities will be reduced and therefore you could have your food ready for you, season or out of season. So let's go and I'm, I'm going to show you a prototype of, prototype of a dryer that I've made and I'll take you through the principle and also you will have the knowledge to be able to do it. There are different types of drying, but for this video, I'm going to start with the solar drying. Solar drying or solar dryer has been a technology, or rather, it has been used for years. Traditionally, it is just the method of opening the food material to the sun, direct heat from the sun to remove the moisture. But it is not the best because it exposes the food to um, birds and bed droppings or the other materials that you don't want to have in the food for hygienic purposes. So therefore, the best for solar drying is a solar dryer. And we have here a solar dryer, a prototype of a solar dryer. And I want to let you know very, very important principle in drying. If you know these three things in drying, you can invent or you can innovate other ways as, as just to make it possible. And these are first, heat. Secondly, humidity. And thirdly, there should be a proper airflow. And when these three factors are present, you'll have a good dry. Considering the three factors I told you about, I made the design. First, getting good temperature. I made this solar collector, heat collector. Um, this is a glass, a transparent glass, and inside the glass there, there's a black aluminum sheet. The essence of the color being black is to absorb the solar heat and trap it in here so that the air flowing from here will be a bit dry and also warm. When it gets into the dryer, it, it, there will be increase of temperature in the dryer. The essence of this increase of temperature is that the product, as it receives increase of temperature, the moisture inside tends to evaporate. And that is very, very important in drying. If there is no evaporation of the moisture inside the material, you will observe that there won't be drying. You see have moisture being entrapped and spoilage that we are trying to avoid would happen. Secondly, um, I told you about humidity, low humidity. To maintain low humidity, as you can see, this dryer is well shielded or covered. And the base of the dryer has um, a sheet, a roofing sheet, that you can use anything you can make, you can, just to achieve your result, you can uh, improvise. So here we use roofing sheets to maintain um, the base so that there won't be covered from every external moisture coming in. That's the importance of having humidity. You, low humidity is very important in drying. That is why you have better drying, re, drying results in Hamata season, especially in Nigeria here. We have good drying results because there is low humidity. So, uh, secondly, you have airflow. That is why we have fans here. I have three fans blowing, taking air from this solar collector 
into the drying chamber and as well I have another fan here removing the um, moist air out of the dryer. When the temperature comes on this material, the moisture inside the material tends to evaporate and goes and makes the air inside this dryer humid. So at the same time as it gets humid, that is, there will be moisture in the air. The fan here will be taking away this moist air from the dryer. As this continues, the evaporation of the moisture in the material, that the food material, as it keeps happening and the air being taken away, you will soon have a wonderful result of a dried material. Now, this is called solar dryer because the heat source is from the sun. You don't need any external heat source, you don't need electricity, you don't need the gas, you just need the sun available for you. And when the sun comes, we take the heat with this solar collector and then this same is take, taken inside into the drying chamber. This is called a tunnel dryer. I use this material, this is a tarpaulin material, transparent tarpaulin, though this is not a clear tarpaulin. The reason is this, I intend to be drying fruits and vegetables and in drying of fruit and vegetable, you are very, very careful about the UV um, rays from the sun because the fruits, um, especially fruits and vegetables, the vitamins they have can be affected by this UV light, so we have to block it off so that we have a good, not just a good drying, but still retaining the original quality of a dry product. Please, thank you for listening. I want you to like and share this video. And for more videos, and for more, I'm going to be releasing more interesting videos in this channel. So I want you to subscribe so that you can get it. Thank you.